Stormblood. Four missions, and I'm and I officially start Stormblood. I have a feeling this is going to be longish and interesting, to say the least. Uh, I'll read that in a few seconds. Okay, never mind. I don't think I'll get a chance to read it. All I know is that I'm meeting with somebody. if you would, good sir. This place, it is within the realm of Eorzea. You're an odd-looking fellow, aren't you? Still, takes all sorts, I suppose. Uh, this here's Vespa Bay, Thanalan's door to the ocean, as some folk like to call it. to understand from your answer that I have indeed arrived in Eorzea. Hey? Yes? You're in Eorzea? <laughs> ah! A plain response at last, and the one I wanted at that. My journey was not without its hardships, and I would sooner travel by land than put to sea again. It's not like I need them. <laughs> you do not believe that so small a bark could bear me across the ocean? Such timid little sailors. I had but to set my course and set my jaw till I made port. <laughs> what is this? Though. Would perhaps have been wise to lay down my oars a moment to sup on more than the spray of bride water. By the trembling of my limbs, I sense a brief repast may be in order. Any fates. Nay, I will not hearken to the feeble grumblings of an empty belly. Duty comes before all. from home, friend.
like near the Conjur the Conjurer's Guild? Yep. Conjurer's Guild. Dear friends, pray accept my heartfelt thanks for your efforts in defense of Gridania's borders. I would fain dwell longer on my gratitude for the support of the Alliance, but the situation at Belsar's Wall demands that we forego such pleasantries. According to our most recent intelligence, the cocoon of light that formed in the air above the Wall remains undimmed and unbroken. Not the voice I'd expect, but okay. After measuring the cocoon's etheric concentrations, Archon Yishtola has confirmed the presence of a primal entity. <laughs> so we must assume that Ilbert's thrice damned god is indeed trapped within. And what news of the Imperials? They're not like to ignore such a spectacle. Sir, a Galian airship was observed making an approach, but the vessel was destroyed when it drew near. The Empire appears to have made no subsequent attempts to reach the object. The soldiers who witnessed the incident spoke of a lance of light issuing from within the cocoon of an entire warship being reduced to smoking ruin in the space of a moment. Veterans of Cartano, meanwhile, likened the destruction to that wrought by the fiery wrath of Bahamut. We could face another calamity. So the Primal is awake, then? Contained, yes, but for how long? We must destroy it now, lest it break free. Agreed. There is, however, the small matter of how to get close enough to a being that swats warships from the sky as you would a bothersome gnat. So complex a puzzle? Or have you no stomach for the obvious solution? What in the hells are you doing here? Is it home? Yep. A pleasure to see you too, Garland. Now, if you'd be so kind as to explain to these good people why you should be begging me for my assistance, that would be most appreciated. I was like, wait a minute, is that homeboy from the Crystal Tower? He's like, yes, it is. Who is this man? Oh, how terrifically rude of me. Nero Tolskeva, former Tribunus of the 14th Legion of the Garlean Empire. These days, however, one might say that I'm something of a free agent. What do you want, Nero? I was getting to that. Although you already know what I'm about to propose, old friend. As you have rather belatedly realized, 
Within that frail binding lurks an entity alike in strength to the great Bahamut, and the only force in existence which might conceivably contend with such a foe is the very creation which captured the Elder Primal in the first place. I speak, of course, of Omega. Omega? That Hulk has been gathering dust beneath the plains of Cartanau since the Alagans breathed the last. And none alive knows how to wake it. I'm sorry. Do you understand who it is with whom you have the privilege of speaking? I'm Nero Tolskava, Master Engineer, the mechanical genius who restored the Ultima weapon to full operational capacity. And as luck would have it, I am graciously offering you the use of my considerable expertise. And what, you just expect us to accept? You're a fool if you think your deeds at the Crystal Tower are enough to win my trust, Nero. Trust? You wound me, Garland. All those years studying side by side at the Academy, sharing both trial and triumph, we were... Countrymen once, you and I. But sentiment aside, have you a better solution? Or do you mean to send in your vaunted hero there, as you always do, and pray the world is not engulfed in flame? Let us approach the problem in a rational manner. Does not the fact that Omega slumbers in stasis point to the existence of some overriding technology? A means of control? That reminds me. I would ask a question, if I may. What did Nero, Biggs was it not? In the Lynch. event that we succeeded in using Omega to shackle Call the Primal in the manner Lynch. you propose, what then would become of it? Do we not risk repeating the mistakes of the Alagans? Omega is but a tool. How we choose to employ that tool is entirely up to us. Of course, if you would rather leave it buried beneath Cartano while you continue your petty squabbles above, then I suppose that is also your choice. Spare us, Nero. The Seed Seer's concern is a valid one. He who controls Omega wields the power of the gods, the very power which led the Alagans to destroy themselves. And does it not fall to we engineers to prevent such misuse? What was your company's proud slogan? Freedom through technology? <laughs> A creed you follow, is it? <sighs> what say you? Do we take this villain at his word? Unfortunately, yes. Well, mm. uh, there's just something I'm worried about with him. Like, he does make a convincing argument, but that takes in that whole idea of if Warhead A is released, and then you sh fire off Warhead B, it doesn't really balance it out. But there's also that possibility that... Uh, I just, I feel like he's up to something. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's just... He does make a convincing argument. But... Mm, I don't know. 
And I'm not even sure if it'll... I'm not even sure if it'll actually... Whatever I choose... Comes into play. Granted that I already know the Omega Protocol is something that is a thing in this game. I don't... All I know... it's a, I think it's a one-boss fight? I think? I don't know? Ah... I see no one. Let's keep an eye on him. As will I. I don't like it, but then it doesn't look like we have much choice. See, like I said, doesn't matter which way I go. Would the Council be willing to entrust this matter to a pair of former Imperials? I mean, as long as Sid's there... Yes. The task of restoring the Alagan Relic will be yours. But the responsibility for its reawakening must remain with the Council. Do we condone this course of action? Aye. It would seem we do. Let the record show that we invest this contingent with the authority to enter Cartanau and take command of Omega. Sid, I appoint you leader of the expedition. Science, I would ask that you assign some few of your number to escort Master Garland and supervise the other one. What was with the kind of luck. <laughs> he should know we don't trust him. We should be happy to oblige. The politics of Cartano being what they are, I dare say our neutrality will prove useful in avoiding any unnecessary entanglements. If I am not mistaken, Doma occupies a similarly neutral position. Might we not persuade you to join the expedition, Lady Yugiri? If you suspected any foul play from Nero, you would be welcome to kill him. <laughs> I mean... My blade is yours. There we go. Not a moment's hesitation, eh? Nope. You'll forgive me if I do not shake your hand. Oh, this is going to be interesting. This is not going to come back and bite us. Honestly, I'm wondering. I am honestly wondering. Where is this gonna put us? Like, where? Where exactly does this? I 
say, where does, where does this put us? I'm like, okay, we had that humongous incident. And I'm... I don't know. I feel like this is a slow burn into the, uh... Into what we're getting ready to go into. Still trying to figure out um, locations proper. Like, seriously, I'm still trying to figure out location names proper. city locations, and then you have, like, the area they encompass, I'm just like, oh, I don't remember what that one was called. And then you have all these, like, old, forgotten cities that don't exist anymore, like Alagon. And then there's Alamigo. So these are the fabled headquarters of the Scions. I confess I would have expected an order of self-proclaimed warrior scholars to surround themselves with the fruits of man's enlightenment. And yet there's not so much as a single piece of magitek in sight. It never ceases to amaze me how primitive you Eorzeans truly are. Oh. I'll have you know that the Rising Stones is home to the very latest in Magitech innovation. 
Wedge calls it the Mark 14 Thermocoil Boil Master, and it's the finest kettle I've ever had the pleasure to own. We are returned. Well, Ida and I, at least. Ishtola and the others remain behind to continue their assessment of the binding magic. There didn't seem much point staying just for that, so I decided to come back with Alphano. Papalimo bought us this time. We shouldn't waste it. By your leave! God, that voice could fell a gigas. <laughs> this is the Rising Stones, domicile of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. I enter at the invitation of one Lord Urionje. <laughs> I spy you there, Shadow Walker. You always were a hard one to find. Hmm? Oh. Yugiri, do you know this man? Gosetsu, why are you come to Eorzea? In search of you, Yugiri. For days and nights did I row across the angry sea. I made port in good spirits, only for my own flesh to betray me over the trifling matter of an empty belly. Collapsed in the street like an unfed stray I was, until Lord Urionje came to my aid. Over a most welcome meal, we spoke of the plight of Doma, and I learned of our displaced countrymen's work to resettle this blighted land. T'was blind fortune that I was able to locate you so swiftly. But now we must make ready to depart. Our master languishes in dire peril, and Doma calls her daughter home. It is not so simple, Gozetsu. There are obligations which bind me here. You... You refuse? Did you mislay your oath during your flight from our homeland? The laws of hospitality must be honored, but surely the vow to defend your master demands the greater obeisance. It was our master who bid me guide our people to safe haven by any means necessary. And it was the scions you see before you who provided us succor and sanctuary when all others refused. Dire peril or no, were I to return without first repaying such hospitality, our master would cut me down at the threshold. Hmm. Mayhap that is so. There is more. A crisis threatens all within this realm, Eorzean and Doman alike, and I go to play my part in its resolution. I will not bring shame upon our liege by abandoning my people or my duty. Hmm, how very noble of you. Now, in the name of honor, kinship, and, ah oh yes, practicality, might I suggest we get this expedition underway? Or would you rather debate the finer points of duty and leave Omega to the Empire? Of course he would. The Empire? Uh-oh. You, Giddy? You draw steel against the curse of Gollumold? Then why did you not say so? My blade is oath-bound to fall upon the ranks of the Imperials wheresoever they march. Lead on, Shadow Walker, and may the enemy tremble at our coming. Gosetsu, you're in the presence of two Imperials. Ex-Imperials, but Imperials. Are my clothes ready? you own up to it. <laughs> oh, I ambushed you. Yes, yes, you did. What are you 
you're giving me. I still... Still... It's a tie over from Swell Tour where I'm just like... Sp space bar to speed through the cutscene. I... Oh. for my armor. Oh, it's so, it's so good. It is just so good. Get our third mission, and I'm only getting to the second mission. Honestly, it is a little crazy that I'm running around with a bow that is, like, my size in half. There's, I feel like Ida is going to be the, is going to play a big role in um, Storm, Stormblood, because Alfie, think and eh, mainly Alfie, not so much Thancred, because Thancred was the first, was Realm. Al, uh, Thancred was Realm. Alfie was... Sick. I was originally just gonna do this via. I was originally gonna do this just via, um. As a samurai, but.
Now, where was that? Ah. I've enabled the teleporter. One brief jump and we shall arrive in Omega's control room. How convenient. You've been here before. Of course. It was no easy task threading a path through all the skirmishes. But how could I ignore the existence of such a fascinating toy? You may trust that my preliminary examination was suitably thorough. Is this where the Omega thing trust comes in? I. I trust your appetite for technology. Uh, I chased down a suspect airship, and who should I find but the traitor, Sid Garland? Uh, here we go. And you are... Searching for something, Engineer? Something big? It's close, isn't it? <laughs> it's like all my name days have come at once. All the scouts the Empire could have sent. Take care of that brute, will you? God damn it. Can't let Nero tinker around in there by himself. I'm sorry to leave you to it, but I dare say you'll manage without me. This clod has no idea who he's dealing with. Hmm. I at least have help. I am Gorsetsu! Samurai, Samurai of Doma! You will rue your choice of opponent this day!
Samurai of Noma! You watching, Heavenly Road? Retreat. No surrender. is lacking. No holding back! 
In fact, if I was all I needed to do was just take them out. I feel like I'm not done yet, though. Temporal stasis disengaged. All systems operational. Garland? All clear on this side. It's waking up. Mega sensors immediately detected the presence of the cocoon, even at this distance. They must have been set to scan for sources of energy exceeding certain magnitudes. I still don't see any means to control the machine directly. It seems to have been designed to act wholly autonomously. Hmm. Once we release Omega, we can be fairly certain it will attempt to capture the Primal at Belsar's Wall. Assuming its mission is successful, our only option at that point will be to re-engage its stasis system and put it back to sleep. And should the machine happen to misbehave, we'll simply initiate an emergency shutdown. I confess, we don't yet have a complete grasp of its capabilities, but I'm certain the details will not elude us for long. Well, I understood less than half of that. So, my question to you is, are we doing the right thing? What do I think? All right. 
right. Step aside, Sid. Is this the thing I need to press? Uh, yes, that's the one. You gave too much for us to waste this chance, Papalimo. So this is for you. And me. The launch sequence has begun. Omega is loose. It's like a nuke went off.
Omegra stopped transmitting. But that shouldn't be. I, I didn't engage the stasis system. And what does this signify? I have little understanding of these contrivances. <laughs> the launch went exactly to plan, but all signals emanating from Omega have ceased. This may indicate any number of things, but we will need to join the Scions out in the field if we are to ascertain which one. Right. I've ordered a malfunctioning beast to go to sleep. That should prevent any unfortunate mishaps. I suggest we make our way back to Gridania. Huh? Omega destroyed the cocoon. Palimo's spell is fading. It was bound to his ether, you see. And if the connection is broken... free my pretty oh yes one mission away from storm blood orchestrations they also didn't say that this is going to go into a long cutscene so I don't know I'm just glad I'm not a lava fella for right now, because then we'd all be standing in height order. And why is Nero so tall? Look, I would expect Sid to be like the tallest? No, this guy is like a head and a half above Sid. Like, 
is this an alle- not an alligan. Um, is this a, uh... Alamekan Civil War Resistance that's appearing? Like, where does Stormblood fall into this? Or does this deal with, um... Homegirl? Whose name I don't remember, because... She's with Ida, and I've been with her since, like, the start of Heaven's Word. <laughs> Actually, I've had her since the since before Heaven's Word. I just, she's never really around too often. Okay, so this is how it all comes together. I'm not even sure where that is.
My friends, I cannot well express how glad I am to see you both unharmed. They say that Omega's clash with the Primal shook the very firmament. You need not have worried. The battle took place far above the ground. We were able to observe in relative safety, though I'm given to understand that there were casualties on the far side of the wall. It was like watching a nightmare unfold before our very eyes. Illbird's primal manifested in the form of a colossal dragon, a being of pure violence. It burst forth from the cocoon with such terrible force. That such a horror should spring from the eyes of Nidhogg comes as no surprise. Nor do I wonder at its form. Illbird all but announced it in the moments prior to his death. Plainly, it was his dying wish to visit a second calamity upon the Empire. And I am quite certain the Abomination would have obliged had it not found itself outmatched by a Mega. Gods! I am no stranger to the works of Alag, but even I was unprepared for the machine's furiosity. It beckoned belief. And how fares poor Ida in the midst of all this? Have you spoken with her? She is up on the platform, lost in thought. We deemed it best not to disturb her, but mayhap she would welcome some company after all. Shall we? The light's gone. It was all we had left of him. Ida. I don't blame anyone. I knew what was going to happen. I knew the spell Babalimo meant to cast would drain away his life force. I knew that it would only buy us a little time. Ida, there is no need to explain. But there is. I can't hide in Papalimo's little shadow anymore, and I shouldn't hide behind my sister's mask. Twenty years ago, on the day the Empire marched into Alamigo, I was still just a child, not even five summers old. My father had been one of the leaders of the revolution. He had fought to overthrow the mad king, Theodoric. And my sister had fought alongside him. But she was strong and kind, and always knew what to do. But when the Garleans came, everything changed. My father went to war against them too. And I never saw him again. After that, I remember a lot of running. My sister dragged me for moms and moms until we came to the city of Charlian. That was where she met Master Louis Soir. He introduced her to the Circle of Knowing, and she eventually became an Archon. She was your inspiration. Is that not why you took up her mask and her name? Or did you simply mean to continue what she had started? You've known all along, haven't you? That I wasn't Ida. Of course. We all recognized you at once. It was Papalimo who persuaded us to maintain the charade. So it was silly to think I could fool you. I knew that even then, but I 
I sort of decided not to know. Your name is now... Ida died six years ago oh. on a mission to smuggle refugees out of Alamigo. They say she was overwhelmed by Imperial soldiers when she stayed behind to save a little girl. She was so strong. There must have been a lot of them. I'm sorry for lying to you. My real name is Lise. When Papa Limo brought me Ida's mask, it was meant as a keepsake, but... I decided I wanted to be his new partner, to keep alive all the good that she had done. I didn't want to become Ida, exactly. At the time, though, I still didn't know who I was myself. And it almost seemed easier to play the role. Papalimo agreed to help, of course, but it was never what he wanted for me. He wanted me to walk my own path, and those were his final words to me. The Archon's mark he gave me is faded, and my last excuse along with it. So this is it. Whatever I choose to do from now on, I do as Lise. And I choose to continue my family's fight. I want Alamigo to be the country that Ida and my father always wanted it to be. War is upon us once more. Do you regret standing against the Empire? Would you have chosen a different road, knowing what you know now? To claim that I never doubted the decision would be a lie. But I made my choice, and I have defended it with blade in hand ever since. The battle continues, and our steel is needed. Come, Shadow Walker. We leave for the east, for Doma. See, I was quite sure Stormblood was going to be, like, a civil war with Alamigo. Credits? Oh. Credits! Okay, then. Uh, I finished... I, fin I officially finished Heaven's Word. I do love this song, now. Yeah, I do love this song, but... I can skip ahead. Alright.
storm blood. Got it. There is a war coming. I know he keeps saying he's the son of, uh... I can't think of the guy's name. Is this his actual father? See? He always calls him his father. But, okay. I'm wondering if, if, if he adopted him. Rob on. So we went to squash a rebellion, and, and now we are fighting a war. Watch this be, uh, Robon's brother. I don't think, no. I don't think it is, though. So. Like, it wouldn't, it wouldn't shock me if it was, but I know it's, I don't think it is. This doesn't bode well. Okay. At the far edge of fate, the road begins anew. Heroes look to the eastern skies, behold the crimson hue. The dawn of liberation, a gathering storm of blood.
think I'll end this stream probably at about four hours. side. Okay, so my class storyline reflects what happens in the main MSQ, okay.
there's a fate. I kind of wish they voiced these. Go again. So it's two Lancers and two Bards. Okay, cool. Um... Huh, I love, I love it. I'm gonna end it, I'm gonna end it at four hours. I know there's other things that are going to happen before it. The question is, how will the Empire respond to the disappearance of Omega and the Primal? Oh, I didn't see you there. Forgive me. Word from Baelsar's wall is proving long in the coming, and my mind cannot help but stray to grim places. He sounds different. Alphano, a message from the Alliance. It's about time. Pray summon the others at once. Yes, sir. General Oldin reports that his forces have secured the breach in Baelsar's wall. It's weird and what are the primal and Omega? Mask. There is still no sign of either at this time. He writes that they will begin a more thorough investigation shortly. And, as expected, he wishes to petition the aid of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. As expected. The Alliance's decision to capture a part of Baelsar's wall is open to interpretation. The wall serves to demarcate Imperial territory, Alamigo included, from the rest of Eorzea. To an observer, the Alliance's actions could be seen as a prelude to invasion. 
Indeed. And the Alliance leaders have no wish to be branded invaders. You're saying they won't fight for Alamigo? Even after everything that's happened? Not without the consent of her people, no. Make no mistake, Lise. The Alliance is in complete agreement that the Empire must be purged from Eorzea. However, they will not set foot in Gear Abania until they have formally secured the consent and cooperation of the Alamegan opposition. They would have us act as intermediaries. Precisely. The Scions are uniquely qualified to serve in this capacity. That is to say, leases, given her personal connection to the Resistance. Who better than you to broker an agreement between the Alliance and the people of Alamigo? Assuming you are willing, of course. <sighs> he does raise a valid point. Of course I am. You know I'd like nothing more. As for who should accompany you on said diplomatic mission, I had a mind to volunteer myself. I'm obviously voluntold. Well, that covers the talking part. But you just know there'll be trouble along the way. Are you available? <laughs> Thanks. It means a lot knowing you'll be there. Her character model is very... I too shall accompany you. Such endeavors are seldom hampered by a surfeit of healers. A little Relina piece crafty. And I may talk for my services as well. Dorothy Catalonia. I have spent Gundoy. quite enough time here of late, so I'll be coming. But we will need someone to keep an eye on things. Tataru. I trust you have no objections. Or Rianche. None, my lady. Gladly shall I continue to serve as caretaker of the Waking Sands, and there keep watch for signs of primal and Asian activity both. As capable as my learned friend undoubtedly is, there are some troubles that may prove too much for a single scion, on account of which I mean to stay. It is settled then. Let us each see to our preparations. Preparations? I'm just ready to go. It's weird hearing music like that. I'm just like, uh. Ready, my friend? Let's go. Well then, Tataru, I leave the rising stones in your capable hands. Don't worry, Alphano. I'll see that the place is still standing when you come back. Mistress Yishtola has unfolded all. You are bound for Girabania? Aye. The Alliance would have us make contact with the Alamegan resistance as soon as possible. It begins then. As soon it shall in Doma, if the gods are good. It is but a pity it must be now. I am sorry that we shall not be present to fight beside you in the battles to come. You have stood with us countless times, Lady Yugiri. Pray do not apologize. Then let us thank you instead. You and yours stood with us from the first, when we came to this land as refugees in search of sanctuary. Loath am I to think what might have become of my people, had you not extended to us the hand of friendship. We will never forget. This I solemnly swear. Much has changed since first you set foot on these shores. 
Revenants told stands as a testament to that. I'm sure your people will manage in your absence. Indeed. They have built a new home for themselves and no longer need me to shepherd them. The time has come for Kozetsu and I to return to our master, to our home. I know how you feel. It's time I went home too. Though our battlefields be a thousand miles apart, our purpose is one. Let all men hearken to the clarion call of freedom, of liberation, from Eorzea to the Far East, that they may rise up and cast down the curse of Garlemald. Take care, you hear me? When all of this is over, we're going to celebrate, together. Just you wait. Ooh. I should like that very much. Fare you well. I guess Sataro's planning more clothes. Yep. She reminds me of... I don't know, she reminds me of another character from another game. She, she just looks like an entirely different character now. I just want to get to a certain location. Here we go. Yay, brand new area. I remember crossing the border.
standing in Girabania once more. Me and my fellow scions. The warrior of light among us. Behind us, Baelsar's wall cutting the land in two. Freedom on one side, tyranny on the other. Tyranny and the promise of a new beginning. But one that could only be bought with flames and blood. Finally made it. 